In this movie we're going to add something fun to our system, which is conkeys and the Aureola conkey is one of which I um, I made, I created some of them, others are from others and uh, references are included who made them. The thing is I was more interested in how to learn the new syntax because the Lua Aureola works on the new Lua syntax, I think I've written it here somewhere and um, you have to have I think 1.10 and upwards for version 1.10 and later then this Lua syntax will work so that's one basic thing you should know but let's install this it's quite easy and then you have versions like this or that or that and all these kind of information uh, gatherers and then they show you how hot your computer is how much you've downloaded etc. what Spotify song is playing. Without further ado you can read all that. Let's clone it. Downloading a zip everybody does that maybe. Let's explain you something else. Copy to the clipboard move down Control alt t type in sudo apt install git because git is very interesting if you get to know it. I was it was already installed but uh, educational purposes. So um, next up is you can clone everything that's inside of GitHub. That's great. So you copy paste it. What I have done here, I have done here a copy paste, copy to clipboard. I paste it here, I push enter and everything that's on this github is now in your computer everything let's have a look where is it here it is Aureola so we enter the folder I'm going to put it in half open it here the terminal the terminal is opened inside of Aureola that's the neat stuff of the button here you can have this button as well if you go to preferences uh, toolbar and add all these ones check all right, next up. You might say I've downloaded Aureola, but what I'm going to do now is getting Aureola again. Why? This little script here is going to make a special directory. A special directory that's not in downloads, that's not in documents, and not everywhere. It's going to reside inside make it bigger it's going to reside inside your home folder in a hidden folder Aureola and that's how I like it that's how it's set up so everything you download everything you get from Aureola is hidden it's not shown shouldn't bug the user experience it shouldn't be in, in video or music or whatever so I'm going to run it anyway again sorry uh, enter here so it's going to clone it in the temporary folder and when it, everything is cloned it says check if your Aureola is empty but I don't have one no sorry I do have one it says there's an Aureola folder do you want to delete it? yes you can delete it, I don't care so yes, if you say no the script ends and there it is so the complete github is now here which is for me the best place to be this is the place where my Aureola should be. So the thing in downloads doesn't matter anymore. You can uh, no, the sorry the thing in home doesn't matter anymore. There is a hidden folder which I bookmark quickly. So I have it here. And if I want to have an, uh, a nice conkey, all you have to do so you have how many conkeys do I have now? Nine. Nine conkeys, nine choices you sorry go inside a folder make a choice take a look that's what I want mm -hmm. fine you press on the button and all you have to do is install conkey stopping conkeys there are no conkeys yet yes stop it fonts a font is very specific the, um, the look of your conkey is, is scattered is broken if you don't have the font that's why I've included them in the script. And if they're programs, 
let's see what program is this ah the conkey program itself if you want to see a conkey you need to have a conkey so the program conkey is installed sure normal and there you go here you see the Aureola, Aureola Acros version 130 and surely there will be newer versions later and here we can see the simple screen recorder which is this little thing here that's taking up 40% of my CPU so that's information on, on your system it's not so hot 35 normally it's under the 50 but since uh, seeing what I'm doing now filming and, and all that it's not so hot so that's that Aureola has been installed and each time you want another conkey all you have to do is go inside the folder and then install conkey it's now stopping the conkey yes delete the conkey files and yes install the font and there you go you have another font active so that's uh, as easy as, as, as it gets I think we'll probably have to maintain the scripts uh, later on but for um, education purposes maybe telling you quickly that what it does it's going to write a conkey in a specific folder in this folder Eric config conkey so this is the one now active as you can see in the picture that's correct so if you want to uh, change stuff you should change it here oh no sorry here this is the configuration of conkey quick look maybe this is your code if you said the height is not good the, uh, the maximum width is not good these are the things you probably use most okay good luck